Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia, and welcome back to another episode of the Speculation Series for the next Three Kingdoms title from Creative Assembly. So last time we talked about bringing the unit upgrade system to the next Three Kingdoms title as the default recruitment system for all factions, and today we're going to be shifting discussion a bit more towards how battles are fought in Total War games, and why range units typically dominate the meta in campaigns. Now for many of you who have watched my Let's Plays of Total War Three Kingdoms, it should come as no surprise that I love range units, whether it comes in the form of siege weapons, range cavalry, or range infantry. And the reason behind this is quite simple. Range focused armies are optimal in campaigns for a multitude of reasons. First, the AI is terrible at dealing with your range units, as their behavior against range boils down to two scenarios. In field battles, if you outrange them, then they will mindlessly run at you to try to close that gap. The cavalry units are smart enough to try to flank, but you're always going to be smarter at putting spear units on your flanks to stop that. Then in siege battles, the AI will always do two things. First, they will never leave the protection of their walls, and second, they will always put a frontline unit to protect any gaps in the walls. So by combining these two factors, if you can outrange the enemy units, then you can pepper them and destroy their entire army in most siege battles without ever setting foot inside the city itself. While both of these behaviors are rather exploitable, it is hard to fix because offering a solution like improving the AI behavior is much like sending a prayer to heaven. If Total War AI has not improved by much in the last decade, it is unreasonable to think that we will see a huge improvement anytime soon. And to be fair, it's not just a Total War problem. RTS games across the board struggle with how to design a realistic, but not too challenging AI opponent. If they make the AI too good, it turns off casual players, and even good players, as humans just can't micro 20 units at the same time as good as the AI can. Like, we already see instances of the AI being too good, like when their pull-arm units can always stop on a dime to brace for a charge, or when they magically know where the incoming artillery fire is coming from and dodge accordingly. So instead of throwing out a suggestion like, please improve AI behavior, the change that I will be suggesting will be more of a systematic change in nature. And before we get to that, we need to continue the discussion of why range units are so strong in the first place. Aside from influencing AI behavior, the best part about range units is that they're fighting with their ammo rather than their health. And what I mean by this is that instead of trading your health in a melee combat to kill off the enemy, range units are using their ammo to kill the enemy. Certainly, they are balanced in a way where they're absolutely terrible in melee and are much more fragile when compared to their melee counterparts. But in essence, range unit dominate the campaign meta because ammo itself is an instantaneous recoverable resource that takes the form of a stat line, where health points require time to recover. And as always, time means money, as every turn your army remains stationary to replenish, you will continue to pay the upkeep but get nothing back in terms of new land or post-battle loot. And if you get into a second fight before you get your health back, your units will be weaker for it. So in my opinion, the best way to tweak the strength of the range unit is not to improve AI behavior, which is awesome, but unlikely. And it's definitely not by adding more stats, like range block chance to shields or missile resistance to melee cavalry, which really makes zero logical sense given that horses are bigger targets for range units, but rather just make ammo a replenishable resource much like health. So this way, if you fire all your arrows in one battle, it would take time and military supplies for them to recover in the next few turns. This simple change would eliminate cheese tactics like cycle sieging, where you siege a settlement with your siege weapons until they run out of ammo, then you would draw to rinse and repeat all in the same turn until the settlement falls. Basically, I totally agree that ranged weapons should be very powerful in Total War games, or else civilizations would not have moved on from swords and spears to guns and missiles. But by making ammo an actual resource instead of just another stat line, 
that can be influenced by silly things like stacking burn traits, players would then actually have to consider more melee-focused compositions, as now, an injured melee unit might just be more useful than a fully healthy but ammo-less group of archers, because they just fired everything in the previous battle and haven't had enough time to replenish their ammo count. And the replenishment rate on the ammo doesn't even have to be that punishing, given that you have ample military supplies. The goal here isn't to make range units useless, but rather just to give them a realistic drawback that makes logical and game design sense, that gives melee units a chance to compete. Imagine having your infantry instantly bounce back to full health after every battle, which is in essence what's happening to range units right now in all Total War games because their ammo count just magically recovers to full after every battle. And with that, our discussion on how to fix the range focus campaign meta is complete, as I wholeheartedly believe that this one simple fix of changing the ammo in Total War games from just a stat line to an expendable and replenishable resource will provide the best balance between melee and range units that the game has ever seen. So as always, comment down below on how you feel about this suggestion, and I will see you all next week as we will be talking about how I would change faction specializations in terms of units. So until then, bye!